Hello Lilas, I am back and I'm back with baby Kellen and I don't know what I'm going to name him. I, I keep saying that his, uh, you know, he, he looks like Kellen. Um, I like the name Kellen. <laughs> I do. I like Kellen. I like the name Callie. Um, I have a cousin named Kelly. Um, so, you know, I just, I like the name. So, I don't know. But I don't usually keep the sculpt name. He is, this morning, the lighting is very weird. And I don't know why. But he looks very red. And he looks more, to me, he looks more Caucasian this morning than he do normally. I don't know. It could be just me. I know you guys are only seeing his legs. Let me see. So, when I come up, it might be the colors that he's wearing, the background. I don't know. But that's the way he look for real like right now i don't sometimes i these sometimes these babies are so weird to me like i don't understand like how it's the same baby and if you take their photo in different lights they look different i don't know okay now okay let's see there we go but I'm pretty sure it's the, the color of his, um, what he's wearing. So he's supposed to be getting worked on. <laughs> I cannot do it. Oh my gosh. Um, so I wanted to uh, talk to you guys and ask you guys, like, so this hobby is not like every other hobby this is not you know when we shop for these babies when we when we decide you know what sculpt we want and all that it is a lot um these aren't you know five hundred dollar dolls these aren't you know eight hundred dollar dolls and that's expensive right i'm not gonna even reduce it down to walmart because it's not even fair to even play like that because because it's not even close to Walmart. But let's say the silicone babies are not even, you know, like reborn cost. Or you you could get a nice reborn for $500, $800. Um, I mean, you may have to really shop, shop, and look for a while. It, it may take you a lot longer. Um, because the average really nice reborn nowadays is costing $1,500 and up. Um, I was quoted $4,000 the other day and I was like, oh, oh my gosh, I can't do it. <laughs> um, and it was for like, um, like a 19 inch size baby. So wasn't a toddler or anything like that. And that was a reborn that was vinyl. So, and not to say that it was not worth it because art is art or but some people that's the thing and I was blogging about that today some people do not consider these dolls as art they consider them as a craft um I was told by more than one sculptor that the dolls aren't considered art because it's too much room for play and plagiarism and copying and so you can't really call it art so when I say that like the sculpting there's so many times where other sculptors sculpt over other other sculptors work um remold other people work and then tweak it and all that and stuff um there's so much play in the background and then the whole painting thing um my daughter is an artist and it was a cringy video live years ago where she said basically in you know one of my other artist friends said they agree she said art is when you create something I forgot but anyway my other artist one of my other artist friends um, that uh, do have a major 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 
important job um, in this world <laughs> told me that I'm still an artist. Rather, I create it or paint it, whatever. Anyway, nevertheless, um, you know, people don't consider, and I lost my train of thought because that's what I get for being old and telling long stories. Picture it, Sicily, 1972, and I can't remember what I was, my point of telling you guys all of that. But anyway, um, so you can charge whatever you want to charge for your babies. Whatever you see it as being worth is worth that. You know what I do want to talk about totally off subject of that now that I'm talking and I want to say is that I am really tired of hearing people say no one, no artist can paint an art a, a doll the same. Not even the same artist can paint, duplicate their work and all this and stuff. That is not true. I want us to stop saying that. I want us to normalize saying that it's possible. There are artists that paint, they mix their paints up by batches. They have their colors in jars. They have a, 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 a whole regiment or how they paint. Step one, step two, step three. I just seen the other day on um, a particular artist. I'm not going to call the artist's name because I don't get paid for promotion. But I seen where they did twins. The babies, and it was AA, and the babies were the exact same almost. Like you couldn't tell them apart. I've seen artists go and re replicate the same baby over and over and over and again. That is not true. Stop saying that. It's not true. There are times where artists will replicate a baby that they painted in the past. I've seen big time prototype artists sell a prototype for seven, eight thousand dollars. They're cut another customer come behind six months later and say, I want a baby like that prototype and they paint it. And they've done that like three or four times with that same exact scope. And you don't know which one it is. And I'm like, is that the prototype or is that... At first, I didn't even know it was multiples. And then I found... When I, I reached out to the artist because I liked that particular skin tone. And I wanted another sculpt. But that skin tone... And they said, which one? Because I painted that three times. I was like, oh. It's up to you if that bothers you to the point of where you don't want to be paying five, seven thousand dollars for something that somebody else might have the exact same copy of. That's up to you. I'm not judging a collector because I was that collector and I still am to a certain extent. I don't want someone to have the exact same baby as me. When I painted my Nori and I painted the other Nori, I painted them in likeness, but those two babies side by side look totally different. In fact, the mommy got the boy. I have the girl and her boy has more veining um, than mine. He has different undertones. I actually liked him more than I like mine, but that ain't us no here or there. Um, <laughs> but they were totally different, but side by side, they look kind of similar, but you could tell even in the pictures that their skin tone was different. Um, I don't like that personally for me to buy from an artist and then they do a replica of my doll but that's been a big topic in the world doll world and I don't want to go down that rabbit hole because I don't want to fight these people over their own personal opinion or my personal opinion um we are all entitled to it and we are allowed to agree to disagree or to agree or disagree um I think I'm gonna see I'm gonna add him in Ooh, we're going to just keep adding babies. Um, I like when an artist, it's nice to know that they can match because if something go wrong, they can match the color and fix it right and repair. So I do like that part of that. But I, I don't want, if I spend, especially if I do a custom and then you turn around and paint that baby for somebody else the way that I asked you to paint it was my idea, my suggestion. You know, this is something maybe I was asking to be done because it it's like my child or my grandchild or something like that. And then you turn around and paint it for somebody. That is aggravating as heck for me. 
It's just my personal opinion. But I just want people to stop saying that it's impossible because it's not. For some people, it is. Um, sometimes it's very hard for me to get remotely close to um, another baby because, well, when I was painting Reborns, especially because I just paint. Y'all seen how, some of y'all have seen how I paint. I just keep adding to one bowl. You know, it's funny because I usually only paint out of two dish when I paint my Reborns. And one I use for, that I'll keep clearing out and use for like undertones or something and the other one is the skin tone and with the skin tone it just keeps going I just keep adding to the paint that was already there before and then I add something else and then the next layer I add something else and then I add something else and then I add something else and I just keep and I'll add more thinner and and you know you just I just keep going when it's my reborns and so I don't have a formula I'm not writing it down I don't have time because when I'm in the zone and I'm creating, my mind is not focused on numbers or writing. My my focus is on painting and I'm enjoying the process. And um, I don't have time to be thinking about writing down anything. Um, yellow is not his best color. We know that. Um, I am still not totally sold on green on Kellen, but I think he looks okay with green. Um, so... I don't I don't like when people make people feel stupid when they say, you know, oh this artist, you know, copied such and such uh coloring on so and so baby. Because everybody's saying, That's impossible. You can't do that. Maybe you can't do that, but there's other artists that can. And I've seen it happen so many times. Let me tell you how 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 uh how factual that is. I bought a doll and it had different limbs than the actual sculpt. You know why I had different limbs of the actual sculpt? Because the artist had painted two babies around the same time and she accidentally put the wrong limbs on the wrong ba head with the wrong heads and so one collector had one baby with um one one head and one baby had one had the limbs of the other one so eventually what happened is me and that collector got together we both sent our babies back to the artist the artist switched it just so it was you know just done whatever anyway and the artist switched the limbs and put them with the right limbs because I felt like it was the proportion was off a little bit for my baby so I it was it was a bother for me but the limbs were so close that they looked like they belonged to her it just that they, she was just like not as proportion um so it happens I've also had a baby years ago a reborn that had issues with the painting and the artist said just send me the legs back and I was like, you ha you're not going to need the rest to match or enough. She was like, no. She, I have my colors wrote down, blah, 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 blah. She ended up having to strip the legs and repaint them. When I got the baby legs back, <laughs> they matched that doll like they were painted side by side together. I, you know, and you got to understand some people paint just the head by itself and then they paint the limbs. So if it's not possible to match this stuff, then how are they doing that? Come on, guys. You got to start applying logic to a lot of this stuff. I can't paint like that, obviously, because it's hard for you to match. Taraji, the uh, manufacturer, sent out the wrong arm for her. So one of her arms was the wrong one. So I had, when the right arm came... It was my first time trying to color match. I did match, however, I kind of, I was starting to put too much detail in the new arm. So that arm actually is a little bit different in the painting. Like, And I had to stop myself because I was like, oh, wait, I would have to try to do the other arm. So um, I'm not good at it. I can get close because I do use the same color. So it's very easy for me to 
maybe come in this same range of a baby. I'm realizing that I do that a little bit more now than not. Um, but it doesn't, um, I don't know. It doesn't happen often. Okay. Let me see. I'm also, I'm trying to add <laughs> babies as I talk. And we're in the same lighting. So, you know, sometimes when we record or if we're doing photos and stuff, you have to kind of adjust the lighting for the baby because the camera lights to take pick up um, certain undertones. And so it's kind of... So you have to kind of play around. But in this case, we're gonna put them all in the same light. Let me spread this out. Now we got another baby. <laughs> all right, let's see. We got another baby in the mix. All right. All right. We, we steady adding babies. This conversation is getting deep. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'll be glad when I get him rooted. Uh, so many babies to root. You guys. All right. So here we go. I don't think we got room to add no more babies. What do you guys think? Think I should add one more? Who should I add? Vegas, maybe, Gigi. Um, I need another pillow, Boppy, or something. So I'm trying to keep the same background so that. So let's see. We'll see if I can. If I can squeeze one more in, maybe over to the side. I don't know. I can't hear you guys. Who you want? Gigi or Vegas? Gigi or Vegas? Oh, I'm gonna do Vegas. Whoa. Okay, Vegas. Vegas is heavy. All right. So we got Vegas. So all this. All right. So now we got one, two, three, four, five. We got five babies in here. Let's see. For the reading rainbow. Um, I have another baby, but she needs to be. She still need to be washed and stuff. But I wonder if I can. Maybe not. I'm not not sure. Just yet. We're gonna wait. Let me see if I can add another baby in. I don't think I have no more space. Oh, I could put, uh, Nori might can slide up in here because she little. Let's see. Maybe we could put her in between the two of them like this. <laughs> Nori, don't you fall. Because I will be screaming. All right. And we got Nori. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if it focuses in. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all just don't hear my poor baby. He's so soft. He just done melted into the, the, the boppy. Hold on. Oh my God, come on baby. Look at him. Oh my gosh, you see the imprint was in his cheek from him. <laughs> oh, Harmony trying to sing him a song. Harmony, come turn this way, Harmony. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, okay guys, I gotta go because Harmony is going to wake everybody up. But anyway, 
<sighs> well, we added some babies in. That's what, what it's looking like. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.